The very mention of cults is enough to spark off thoughts of Satanism, conspiracies, and ritual killings, not to mention the creeps. But while many films have featured evil cults as part of their plots, here are some of the most notorious cults in the real world. Number 9. Metomorous Human Sacrifice Cult A black cauldron, open fire, boiling blood, horseshoe, turtle shell, a spinal column, and bones. Enough to stir up fear, right? But wait, there's more. The brain and the body of Mark Kilroy as well. Mark was on his spring break and had ventured into the border town of Matamoro, where he became the victim of a ritual conducted by a weird, drug-addled occult started by an American marijuana smuggler in Mexico, the Matamoros Human Sacrifice Cult. It was started by Adolfo Costanza, known fondly as the Godfather, and his 24-year-old follower, Sarah Aldetre, known not so fondly as the Witch. They gained followers, mostly cartel members, who thought that these ritual killings would protect them from the cops and even make them bulletproof. And yes, we did say killings because Mark was just the first victim discovered. Investigations revealed many more victims, mostly on spring break, who were brutally killed and tortured as part of the ritual sacrifice. Well, justice came through and the Godfather, the Witch, and other cult members were arrested by the cops and the place where Mark and the others had been tortured was burnt to the ground but only after being purged of its black magic spirits and a special ceremony. Number eight, The Ripper Crew. Who hasn't heard of Jack the Ripper, the original serial killer? But while he may no longer be around, apparently his ax didn't die with him. The Ripper Crew was a satanic cult which adopted Jack the Ripper's modus operandi for their own benefits. While they did not solely hunt sex workers, they were responsible for the disappearances of 18 women in the Illinois area around 1981 to 1982. They would abduct, torture, rape, and kill the women before eating them. Yes, they believed in cannibalism. It was started by Robin Gecht and constituted of Edward Spritzer and the Cocorellis brothers. They would often meet up in the attic of Gecht's house, which was their satanic lair, where they had put up six red and black crosses as well. And while Gecht was arrested later, he could not be convicted because of a lack of evidence. Wonder if eating the evidence played any part in that. Number seven, Order of the Solar Temple. Cults and secrets go hand in hand, and when you mix the Templars in, you do get a heady drink. That's exactly what the Order of the Solar Temple is, a secret society which bases its ideals on the Knights Templar and is still active today. It was started by Joseph D. Mambro and Luke Jurette, who convinced followers around the world that Mambro was a Templar Knight in his previous life and that his daughter was the cosmic child who would lead the followers to a planet orbiting the star Sirius after their deaths. Sounds crazy, right? Apparently not, as the cult had lodges in Canada Australia, Switzerland, Martinique, and other countries as well. While secret meetings and casual sex would be okay with anyone, the cult convinced its followers of the benefits of mass suicides, or murder, who knows, and shocked the world when in 1994, 23 bodies were found in Fribourg, 25 in Vias, three in Canada, and in a truly bizarre case, a boy who was stabbed with a wooden stake because his parents thought he was the Antichrist. All in all, the Order of the Solar Temple claimed 74 lives, including those of children. Crazy, right? Number six, Black Jesus. Now that's a weird name to assume, right? But not so for Stephen Tari, the Papua New Guinea religious figure who managed to convince over 6,000 people that he was the Messiah. Well, Black Jesus turned out to be quite a colorful character as he advocated the use of flower girls who he kept as personal concubines. He promised material wealth and gain to his worshipers and made them turn a blind eye to the rape and murder of the flower girls at the hands of Tari. He was finally convicted on four counts of rape in 2010 and sentenced to 20 years, but escaped in 2013. It didn't last long though, as the villagers, who had finally had enough of this cult business, caught up with him and castrated him before beating him to death. And talk about karma being a bitch. Number five, realism. Aliens have often been obsessed about, but anything that we may have done is overshadowed by the followers of realism, who think that we are just experiments conducted by the aliens and that they keep coming back to check on us. In fact, so deep is their belief that they think the early aliens, the original scientists, disguised themselves as gods and angels in front of the early humans, and that they've been coming back in various disguises over time to help humanity, like Buddha, Jesus, and others. It was started by Claude Vorlehon, who claims to have come upon a flying saucer where aliens taught him all of his teachings. Realism soon gathered many followers and spread to all corners of the earth, and membership 
requires certain rituals like giving up other religions, and they keep having UFO exhibits and seminars. Things went a bit far though when the Raelian Corporation Clonaid claimed to have cloned a human baby. Let's leave the experimentations to the aliens, shall we? Number 4. Heaven's Gate This one is another group which worshipped UFOs and believed that God was an alien. The cult's leader was Marshall Applewhite, who believed that he was the second coming of Jesus and also that he, along with his psychiatric nurse, Bonnie Nettles, had been sent from an evolutionary kingdom level above humans to guide them into heaven, which was basically an alien land. They convinced themselves and their followers that a UFO would come one day to take the believers there. They gained as many as 200 followers who completely abstained from sex, alcohol, and smoking. Maybe that was the reason why when the hale comet appeared in the sky, 39 followers performed a Last Supper rite where they committed suicide wearing identical clothes. Talk about death making us all equals. Number 3. Om Shinrikyo Translating to Supreme Truth, this cult began in the 1980s in Japan, primarily composed of Hindu and Buddhist believers led by Shoko Asahara, who declared that he was both Christ and the first enlightened one after Buddha. They gained official status as a religious organization in 1989, and it gained global following with members swelling up to tens of thousands worldwide. The group promised a more meaningful life to young people, and maybe that was the reason behind so many elite students joining the cult. However, as it expanded, it transformed into a doomsday cult, which believed that a third world war was coming, which only they would survive. The cult became extremely violent, kidnapping, injuring, threatening, and killing those who opposed it. They took things a little too far on the 20th of March 1995, when members of the cult leaked the nerve agent Sarin into the Tokyo subway which resulted in the death of 12 people while injuring thousands. 13 members of the cult, including Asahara, were sentenced to death, after which Aum Shinrikyo went underground, and they have been designated as a terrorist organization in Japan. Wonder if jail was what they meant by a more meaningful life for the young. Number 2. Movement for the Restoration of the Ten Commandments of God If cult rituals included saying its name over and over, a lot of people would definitely shy away because of the time it would take. But well, it does exist and began in the 1980s as a breakaway religious movement from the Roman Catholic Church. It was founded by Credonia Mirwind, Joseph Kibwitri, and B. Tate in Uganda. Mirwind claimed that she got a visit from the Virgin Mary and the group predicted an apocalypse. In the early 2000s, several members were found as victims of fires, poisonings, and killings, which was attributed to either mass suicides or cover-up for the apocalypse that didn't come. The group emphasizes on the religious, pun intended, following of the Ten Commandments, and some of them even restricted speaking in order to follow the Ninth Commandment, which is not to bear false witness against thy neighbor. But sign language was okay though. The movement forbids many things, including sex and soap, and they believed that the apocalypse would be on the 31st of December 1999. And well, when it didn't, they committed suicides and murders. Over 778 confirmed deaths were reported within the cult. Still, that doesn't seem like an end of days, does it? Number 1. The People's Temple When a young, 24-year-old reverend breaks off from the church and starts a new group to voice his resentment against the racial discrimination of his previous church, he would naturally gain followers. That's what happened with Reverend Jim Jones, who founded the Wings of Deliverance in 1955 with 20 followers. His popularity soared along with the groups as they did some good work in the community like soup kitchens, orphanages, and services for the disabled. It took on the name of the People's Temple, and Jones showed his belief in racial equality by adopting a black child, the first case of a white couple adopting a black child in Indiana's history. But as time went on, this picture changed, and the cult became known for its oppression of its members by not allowing them to have any contact with their families. Jones moved his followers to a remote agricultural project in Guyana and named it Jonestown. But the allegations of tyranny and cruelty of Jones's leadership prompted Congressman Leo Ryan to investigate. And when some of the cult defectors wanted to leave with him, they were all gunned down by the alleged protectors of the People's Temple. What followed then shocked all the world, as on November 18, 1978, 909 members of the People's Temple drank cyanide mixed with Kool-Aid in the largest mass suicide ever. The cult soon disbanded and declared bankruptcy in late 1978, but the reason behind the suicides are still not clear. Did Jim Jones finally get a conscious attack because of the murder of Congressman Ryan? Maybe, but we will never find out. These are just some of the most mysterious and downright dangerous cults that exist in the world. 
and considering how deluded most of them seem to be, it now makes sense when our mothers told us not to take candy from the man in the van or loiter about after dark. Turns out, they were afraid of these cults and their so-called sacrifices. 